it's uh, go big or go home is a, at least a one pound bass. Very active, very big hook. Passing up here, quick trip, best place in the world. Um, like I said, I'm, I gotta check my oil. I gotta get, I gotta get, I gotta get him on some ice, keep him fresh, so it's fresh, fresh cut bait. Otherwise, got my my monster rods. These are my, these things actually. Pulled in that 40 pounder last, that uh, was about a week and a half, two weeks ago. One of these, without, I mean, it was not difficult at all. Um, I'd like to see what, how they handle a 70 or 80 pounder. Hopefully we can get on one of them tonight. This is a good old, um, I think Bass Pro Special right here, but why not have an extra line? If I have six holders, why not try and uh, use them? So I'm gonna bring a fourth pole. Um, of course, got the mud boots. Yeah, okay, they're already, they're already muddy, but it just rained about a week, about a week straight. So we're gonna see how it is tonight. See if I can even get out there, but um, hopefully everything's running fine. Otherwise I'm screwed because the currents can be fast. While I was uh, trying to snag a uh, perch, I was able to catch a couple that I can use as cut bait. Oh, this guy right here. That's a, <laughs> look at this guy. Oh yeah. So this guy is about, let's see here. It's about one, he's about one foot long. I might actually just use him. I'm gonna put him on a pole by himself. Now I do have, I do have a couple of shad in here. And I was also able to snag this guy right here. So, shad's lively, man. Shad's lively today. All right, let's go to the home bait tank, see if we can get some more bait. All right, guys, we're gonna get some baits. Get some bait from the bait tank. Uh, since my casting, well, since I didn't get much when I was casting, uh, I'm gonna have to dig into my bait tank here. Take some of my pets with me, but I got the I got these batteries on the charger. I haven't been able to install this yet. That's gonna go on the boat. So is the Garmin uh, 73 SV over there. I got a lot of work to do, but I'm gonna see if I can get some bait, get these batteries in the boat for the lights um, or trolling motor, or whatever I might need. And um, then I'm good to go, finally. Let's get some bait. Hey, 
get this out of there. They love it too much. my pride and joy right here. I've had this shot alive for a very long time. Woo. There we go. I've been looking for this guy right here. <laughs> that's a that's a big bait right there. All right, guys, I was able to come up with a whole bunch of some crappie here, bluegill. All right, guys. So since it just rained a whole bunch this last week, we got a whole bunch of mud up on the boat ramp on just this one side and over here. Got some pretty good mud for about 10 feet or more. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull the trailer down closer to this side right here. There's a little bit less mud to the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I got my poles up, ready to go. And um, let's see here. Um, wow, that's bright. Okay, so. Game plan is it's almost two o'clock. And so that's pretty late for me to start. So I actually plan on probably fishing into the early morning, like four, five, six o'clock, and then leaving probably pretty tired since I haven't slept at all. But got the boat ready. All right, we are heading out. It's almost two o'clock. And we're gonna head out to fish the the creek entrance, the creek, and also the main channel again. Um, got all the stuff I need. And uh, all right, see you guys down there. I'm <laughs> I, I'm 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 in it to win it tonight. So I really I really uh, really want to catch a big fish. I hear they're biting and. That's the word around town is they're biting. So um, I think that this might be, I mean, a little bit in the, in in the spawn or a little right after the spawn. But there's a lot of a lot of stuff out here floating, a lot of trash. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So. Driving in the dark. See how it goes. All right, guys. So we've made it to the spot. So I'm gonna start baiting up. Bait, b -b 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 baiting up. It's pretty late. I never usually start fishing this late, but. Um, see what we can get I mean go for it all right kind of hurts me to do this this is this was my pet <laughs> this shad stayed alive for months in my bait tank and you know what? it's time to use them it's time to re-up on some new bait so it's good size good size shad get him out there This is another shad. I'm gonna go with some live shad. I mean, use shad live when you can. So, um, this is one I caught tonight. 
the cast net only caught two so i'm gonna put probably put all three shad on and then maybe a, a live uh bluegill so second one This is the smaller, I'd say the smaller of the, the three I just, or the two I've already put out. So this is the third one, Shad, live. I'm gonna fish the creek, inside the creek with him, so to the far right. Live shot ahead. It's the last and final bait, so he's big. He's real. He's real big. Bait it up. Good one. Swimming towards the boat. Trying to go underneath the boat. This one bit on my my pet shad. <laughs> I'm probably gonna turn him into cut bait. But uh it's a, it's a good looking good looking flathead. I might actually get a weight on this guy. Oh yeah. Let's 
quick that was a quick bite. It's a quick bite. Then get away. Yeah, this guy's not doing so good. <laughs> not doing so hot. Semi truck drivers, they love to honk at me out here because all the light. I'm right off of 435. So, all right. This one's saying about 13 and a half. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Not 13 and a half pounds. Good looking fish. Ah. Actually, I really like these these yellow guys. So, all right, this one's uh, 13 and a half pounds. Good old yellow flathead. He bit on a pretty pretty good size. That was my pet shad. He bit on, but I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. Alright, so I just caught that 13 and a half pound flathead on this live fish and he's still good for cut bait so I'm going to go ahead and send him right back out there to see if I can pick up maybe a blue, maybe a flathead, see, see what uh, might be interested in this. It's very, uh, very bloody still so. I replaced that that shad that I was getting played with with this guy. This is a very very good size bait. I'd say is above average bait. So uh, I hope, hope I'm not getting played with gar, but um, I'm gonna send him out there so we can get. All right, guys, it's uh, go big or go home. Here's a at least a one pound bass. Very active, very big hook. And I'm gonna go set them in the creek.
<laughs> oh wow. Nice. <laughs> That guy gave me, that guy gave the monster rod a little run for his money. To, let me set him down for a second. All right. Here's this. A massive, beautiful, beautiful beast. Oh, yeah. The size of that fin. Back tail. Oh, my seat's gonna be all slimy, but I'm all right, Dad. Hmm. Check out that guy. All right, all right. Get away. <laughs> to grab that weight real quick grab that weight real quick and uh, see what we got here I'm gonna guess about 30 30 pounds all right guys that was a that was a fun catch Let's see what he weighs in pounds not kilograms It's saying 27 pounds. 27 pounds. All right. Let's get him back in the water. Just such a cool fish. Such a cool fish. Whoa. Pretty long for a 27 pounder, but gave gave a fight. Gave big. That was a bigger fight than the 40 pounder. Yeah. Some big fish just stole my one pound bass. Ugh. All right guys, it's been a really good night. Had some flatheads, had a huge fish take off with my one pound bass. Um, I think I got that on tape. But I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the boat launch ramp. And um, I think I'm gonna stop on the way there. There's a, there's a hole I've been kind of eyeballing and I might throw a couple baits in there, see if I can get a bite. But um, it's been a good night. Probably done, but if we get some more bites, I might stay there for a little bit longer and then head home. Yeah, just 
jumped in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Got a live one. Two. <laughs> See all them Asian carp jump out of the water?